Hey guys, welcome back here outside in the forest. Today I will do some macro photography again, but in the forest and actually not really in the forest. Um, I'm here on a on a way and on the side of the way is grass. So you can see this here. And I want to to um, look for some beetles or for some butterflies or just some insects I can photograph and yeah I'm really looking forward what I can do here and I already took some photos and videos of a, of a beetle or I think it's no beetle and um, it's a butterfly but it looks like a beetle so yeah just look yourself So here you can see my setup and um, there is the grass and I put my my backpack on the ground to use it as a, as a little tripod because I have no tripod and um, that is going so close to the ground and I put my camera on top of it and I know that looks quite really really funny because I have my ESR here and this lens looks so big. Um, I have the 300mm lens um, on my, my camera, a uh, 1.4 um, extender, so yeah, and my two macro extension rings and that's quite really big <laughs> and yeah it looks funny um, but that's working and that's the most important thing. Okay guys, there's the spider. I don't know if you can see it because it's green. And yeah, it's right here. And I put up my my camera to the tripod because the the spider is sitting in the grass and the grass is um, higher than on the ground so I can use my tripod and I know it looks quite really funny because it's so long and yeah it looks quite good I think okay actually you can see not that much but I already took a photo and I think that looks good But there's quite one problem I have and I think that's a general problem in macro photography um, but especially with a tele lens so if you do macro photography with a tele lens that problem is that it is really really shaky so I can show it to you so if I only touch my camera and do nothing the whole picture is um, shaking and you can see this if I um, zoom in so check out how shaky this is and that's quite really 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 um, bad because um, I then I need a, a, um, a shorter shutter speed um, but here in the forest no much light and then the ISO is really high, so I can show it to you. Now the ISO is on 10,000 and that's definitely not good. So yeah, I think because of this it's quite helpful to have a macro lens. Um, so I don't know if a macro lens fixes that problem, because I never had a macro lens, but yeah. Um, it's quite a bit difficult with a tele lens. I switched my 300mm lens to my 200mm lens because with this it's quite a bit easier to to photograph and yeah I found a new 
good looking subject and I will show you this now. Okay, I think you can see this white flower here. And if I go a bit closer, you can also see that the background is really dark because there is um, the forest. And if I set an exposure right to the flower, to the white flower, the background is really really dark or actually it's the background is black and I'm waiting until a beetle is flying to this flower or to some other flower here because here are a few white flowers as you can see and here then I will test it out to make a photo with a really black background and I think that can look quite really really good Oh my god guys, that looks so amazing. Check out this. That looks really really good. It looks like um, I took this photo in the night and I set up a light um, to the, to the um, white flower with the, um, with the fly. But that looks really good. So I'm amazed. Uh, I just found something and I'm not sure what this is um, so it's like a dirt ball in the plant so I can show you a photo here um, I think it's from a butterfly um, so oh, I don't know how it's called in English in Germany we say it's a coco from a from a butterfly and um, so I show you here the, the English translation um, but yeah I don't know if this is correct so if you know it write it down in the comments um, yeah because I'm interested by the way guys um, I'm for three hours or something like that I'm here in the same area in the same small area and um, in the forest all the time so only here in this area and not more and I think that's not much but as you could see um, there are so many insects um, in the forest or in the field you can photograph and that's quite really gigantic Okay guys, um, I go back home now because it's just too windy now and the, the branches are moving too much and so I can't focus and yeah, I hope you liked the video. Thank you so much for watching and if you will see some other macro photography um, but with a smartphone and um, I tried this out one or two weeks ago. And that check out this video. So yeah, see you next Saturday or in this video. Um, have a great week and bye.